Another edition of WrestleMania season, Carcolange, the chosen one alongside Mr. No Days Off, Nick Maldonado. Nick, today we're here. This was your special episode because mm -hmm. they call you Mr. No Days Off because you're <laughs> literally at every WrestleMania for the last six years. Yep. Uh, you're going this year again, so you'll be our correspondent live there. And you wanted to talk about favorite WrestleMania trips. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just something that every year, WrestleMania trips, it's just they get better every year. It's fun going to a new city, a new stadium. And like I was just telling, talking to you, like when you land in that city, I just you're engulfed in it. You can't escape wrestling. It's been a while. 2013 was my last one, which was here, 29. But yeah, I mean, the official announcement. That 40, God willing, no catastrophic injury, nothing crazy happens to my finances. <laughs> I will be at WrestleMania 40 in Philly. There it is, the big announcement live. Chosen on one return season. And you will follow it. All. And I want to be able to stream live from the stadium in the parking lot. I'll, I'll get a hot spot. I'll get a laptop. I want to do the pre shows. <laughs> I, I think they're doing both nights there, right? Yeah. So if I could, God willing, I could set it up. We'll have a live stream Let's from it. the parking lot. Hitless Streets will be there. <laughs> so I can't wait. Yeah. So your favorite trip, you would say, is New Orleans, clearly, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it, was, it was my second WrestleMania trip, and everything about it, besides like the show, which I mean, is the biggest, is the biggest thing, but the whole trip was great. 2018? Uh, yeah, it was 2018. Um, you know, started the trip off. We landed. We went to the New Orleans Pelicans game. It was Pelicans, Grizzlies, pre-Zion and John Morant. So tic tickets were like nine bucks. Yeah. Went there. It was wrestling night. It was wrestlers at the game. Went to Bourbon Street, wrestlers walking around everywhere like Ke we saw kevin owens we saw bobby lashley uh every single wrestler you think i was walking the streets of new orleans and it was just the, the best thing like i got right here like the, the local new orleans uh newspaper is literally just transformed into a wrestlemania guide mm -hmm. and you pick us up at the airport when you land at the hotel when you get to the hotel get that single back on here you got the hotel keys. Got the hotel I mean, keys. this is your key to get into your room at the hotel is WrestleMania. There's a WrestleMania poster. I, everything about the trip was great. Going to Bourbon Street, walking food everywhere. Too, the food was incredible. Uh, I tried alligator for the first time. Very good. Um, it's, a, it's a place I've been waiting for them to go back ever since, and they haven't. So if you're Triple H, if you're watching this, come on, let's go. Get back, uh, let's it get was back Brock to Roman the main main event and Brock yeah, won, right? and it was it was very it was a very lackluster main event because just the crowd at that point was not into it. There was beach balls flying everywhere. No one's really paying attention. The match ended weird. Roman being all bloodied up and it, and then Brock retained, I believe. It's just it was not a good ending. But, um, but the trip itself was incredible. Listen, I, I think it was a when I was going through the trips, so it was always a matter of visiting a different city. So I mm -hmm. did four in a row. Um, for me, it has to be my first one is the special one, which was 26 in Arizona. Mm -hmm. um, the flight was long, but just getting there and touching down there, like you said, once you hit it there and you see all the signs and you see Arizona is a, is a, is a dead city as is. <laughs> um, so it was, it, it was just a matter of, of Phoenix, to be exact, as a city. Um, Phoenix was dead as is, but just being around there and doing all the spectacular things of access you know, we were the marks that, you know, were camping out at the hotels waiting for oh, the hotel whatever. access. I yeah. That. So, hey, listen, I'm not going to be ashamed to admit <laughs> it. I was waiting there, but you met some people. I met Matt Hardy. Mm -hmm. I met Jack Swagger, uh, JR, uh, Teddy Long. We, we found out the hotel that we're staying at and we just waited and we just met a couple of the wrestlers. It was awesome. Um, you know, and just being there just for the first time and going through everything and meeting the re and it was just an amazing trip. Um, I was always fortunate to be with the Pro Wrestling Spotlight. It was a podcast I started before. Mm -hmm. I really started pushing the hit list. So it was a great opportunity to, you know, with a great group of guys. That's, uh, the, that's the most important thing. Yeah. It's who you go with. Yeah. They Superstar Ron Hustle, uh, Hollywood J, um, Stella Justin Lopez. It was the four of us. It was a great trip. And, and I think, you know, we did it again for 27, 28. We, we kind of went our separate ways and I did 28. But for me, I'll always remember the first one when everyone's like, have I ever been to WrestleMania 26? And it was just special that my two top two wrestlers closed out the match, yeah. clearly. So I think for me, I'll always go back to WrestleMania 26 as my favorite. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the best. If you've never been and you're thinking you're on the edge, should I go, should I got not go, go. You're going to have the best time of your life. You're going to make memories. And especially if it's a new city, that makes it even cooler. Listen, I always say to a, a wrestling fan, it's, you know, it's the Super Bowl, it's the NBA Finals, it's the World Series. And for, for pro wrestling being like in my top two of favorite sports, uh, yes, I'm calling it a sport, and I don't care what people have to say about it. 
you have to you have to attend one. If you even if you get to go to your local one, it's coming to your city. Mm. Just do at least one. I know if I'm doing this will be my fifth one. I'm not sure if I'll do anyone after that. When I have kids, maybe I'll take them. But I know it's always special. And the fact for me, what defines it is it's not just you. There's 70,000 people who are there just like you screaming, and going nuts. And when other people who don't understand that look at you and I'm like, you know what? There's 70,000 people here with me who understand my vibe. There's no better. Feeling. And it's and it's not even I mean, you go and you see this uh, like the stats. It's somebody from every single country in the continental U.S. over like 30 different country people travel from. They all descend onto this one city, this one weekend. And for one weekend at all, you don't got to worry about hearing people. You know, that's fake, right? Uh, don't ev- say the F. We don't say the F word on every here. Every single body, person that you're around is as crazy as you are and understands it. And that's the best part. Yeah. And, and to add to that and to kind of end it is a matter of, like you said, all facts from a lot of the world in terms of the demos you have, you have women, children, um, you know, men, like it's just bring grown every, men, grown, grown men. It's, oh, it brings everyone together. So like I said, for any wrestling fan out there, the dream is to go to rest, like just like for the wrestlers to main event WrestleMania to be part of the show for the fans it is too. So like, share, comment, subscribe, all hit list content. Uh, please stay tuned to more WrestleMania season episodes.